Hello, my loves, and welcome back to what seems to be late evening in uh, Pathologic 2. And look, The Bachelor did comment on this, this stuff that's on the houses. It's like it's getting sick. And look, it's not just here, look. It's everywhere. This is getting weird now. Hatchling, the house is all sick. Must be shingles. Uh, Verochka had shingles last year. Mom thought it was the coughs, but then the doctor said it was just shingles, or rash shingles. Got it from a cat, that's what he said. But the house isn't alive. Who told you that? All the houses are alive around here. Come on, it's made of stone and wood. Nah, -uh, they can breathe and talk for real, don't you believe me? Of course I believe you. That's creepy. That's actually really creepy. That means, I think that's an indication that the town, the, um, that the houses are infested with the plague, and that's pretty damn bad. That means things are going to get awful very soon, my loves. Very soon. Right, we're heading this way to Big Vlad's place. Because Vlad's got some splaining to do. Uh, yeah, this is the way. Vlad's got lots of splaining to do, actually. Um, drink. This may not be a good idea. Get as much water as possible, because I can, uh, I can use that. I can trade with that. When people will let me, or my exhaustion's creeping up, I need to find a place to sleep. Very soon. Um, hang on, hang on. Let me look at this. Which way... Which way do we go? Yeah, I can do it this way, can't I? That's good. That's good. Big Vlad's place! That's where we're headed. I desperately need to talk to the man. Wrong way. Hmm. I don't like all these people about. I don't trust them. I'm fairly certain some of them are going to try and kill me very soon. Uh, before I do anything, I'm just going to head into the, uh, the pub and save it. Hopefully there's not, like, filth and stuff everywhere in here. That would be bad. That would be terribly bad indeed, my loves. It's getting late. We're going to have to shake a leg. Um, and we're going to have to make a decision as to what we're going to leave, I think, very soon. Um, like I said, there's never enough time for everything. Never enough time, my loves. Okie dokie, my loves. Now, it's come to my attention that there's something we can do, actually. You know, do you remember there's that wine that's being sold at the bar? The, the wine that's made out of twire. Apparently, that is well worth picking up. Apparently, that will give us some new quests. So, let's go and have a drink of that, shall we? Hello, my dear. I, I still wonder... Brown twire costs three times as much today. Oh, that's good. Um, I'll have that. Thank you. Apparently it's worth it. Apparently it is worth it. And I will also sell two of those and... One of those. And that will give us a little something something. There we go. Okay. So we've got the twire, uh, twire wine. And apparently... If we drink it, it will do something. So, let's have a look. Let's touch it first. Uh, Twyrine, the town calls to me, but it's hard to hear over my own thoughts. If I quiet them down, I can sense the pulse of life all over town. Subtle, eh? I mean, you'd think this is just an item, wouldn't you? It's not. It does other things, look. It's put some markers on our map. The town is calling to me. Ooh, but it's a bloody long way away. I can tell you that. It's a long way away. So we've got to go there. We've got to go there. There's lots to do, my loves. Lots to do. Someone is waiting for me in the cathedral. That's interesting. And we also haven't been to the polyhedron yet. Which is a key area of the game. So, let's go. We haven't got much time left today. So let's go as uh, expediently as we can. I've got to be careful of my exhaustion, actually. Because uh, my character is going to start collapsing very soon. Um, which is not the best situation to be in. Right, let's have a look. Um, I suppose... We should go to the kids first. So, if we... 
Uh, how's the best way to do this? Oh, bloody hell. Um, if we head through the town... Oh no, wait, 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 wait. If we just head out and across the tracks... If we head this way and across the tracks, we can get there. I think. Look, it's almost dark already. It's almost night time. Bloody Nora. Time continues apace, my loves. Time and tide wait for no man. Certainly not this man. Where am I going? Am I going in the right direction? No, I'm bloody not. <laughs> We've also got to be really careful now because the plague is here. And if the plague's here, that means that we can get infected. So we need to be really bloody careful of that because if there's one thing I do not want, it's to be damn well infected. It's one of the worst things to happen in this game. Just do not want, my loves. Do not want. Okay, so... Oh, well, since we're on it, it's on the way. We, we're going to have to go here, aren't we? It's on the way, so... Pff, why not? I think, if I remember right, this is where the kin are all holed up. They used to work for um, the slaughterhouse. For Vlad, I think. And they're all sort of, like, crammed in here. Ooh. This place is a little creepy, actually. Ugh, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Furnace, that's a little strange. This whole place is a little strange, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'll drink, definitely. I could probably do with that, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Ooh, the stuff. Can I loot anything? Ooh, anatomical drawings. Ugh. Oh, I can rest. Um, I will do that. Oh, God, it's late already. I will do that for a little bit, just to cut off a little bit of the exhaustion. But it's late already. We're going to have to cut something out, you know? Um, we're not going to be able to do everything. So I'm going to see the kids. I'm determined to see the kids. Hello. Oh, it's Sticky! What are you afraid of? That they'll get mad? Who? Huh? I didn't touch anything. What's going on here? Oh, an old friend of mine, I see. Well, I'm not leaving. You got that. I got it, I got it. Are you catching rats or something? Why are you telling- yelling at me? Old man and I, we used to do a lot of stuff here. That's easy to do, by the way. Ah, dad. Have you noticed that our dad had a lot of, like, surrogate children? Um... I even figured out how to crystallize blue salt, made extracts myself. You think I was just helping him? I know a lot more stuff. Aren't you a smart one? What is that thing on the table, then? Did you make it all by yourself? No need to be nasty. Well, if you're the nice one here, go ahead and kindly tell me how you got it. Easy. Someone needs to work the machine, after all, while the old man walks, to, walks the steps, so I volunteered. Our kind doesn't need keys. What is this machine, anyway? So father didn't give you a key, after all. I thought you were an apprentice of his, but you're more like a cat. <laughs> yeah. What is this machine, anyway? It's a mixer. Old man used to make medicines here, like tinctures, I think he called it. Extracts from all kinds of gross stuff. So you know how to operate it. For some reason, neither of them works. Can you fix them? And I'll I'll do anything. Just don't make me go. Perhaps I can fix them. Okay, so that's another... Ooh, look. Ooh, that's creepy. This whole thing is bleeding creepy. So, upgrade inventory. Oh, yes! We haven't got enough resources. Shite. We, do, we need some cloth. Okay, so we can do that. That's... Tinker. Okay. Not enough resources, so we need we need a few things to be able to upgrade this. Not enough resources. Scalpel we can do. Ooh, scalpel's very good now. Um, but not the knife. We can't do the knife. Okay. That's very interesting. So that's to uh, that's our upgrade system. That's very useful. Loot always. Oh wow. Money, not going to be that useful for much longer. Metal scrap. Oh, tinctures. Cloth gloves. And yeah, cool. Excellent. Well, that's going to be... Ooh. They say it's healthy, but the taste is just... Ugh. Yeah, right. Tinker. Oh, okay. Yes, we can upgrade it. Oh, excellent. This means we might be able to make tinctures now, which is going to be especially useful. <gasps> Hello! 
Tumblr human. I hear you now. Speak, but waste no breath. I remember you, Tumblr toy. You used to pretend you were alive when I was little. Ah, my old friend. No one better to talk than my own damn self. If you're trying to mimic father, stop. His death hurts enough as it is. Now, he would have said, this place is our true home. One can work here, even though I've never been here before. Yes, home is where your work is. You can sleep here. I can store my things here. Not like I can carry everything around. My bag is a bit small, that's true. Here, I can fix that eventually. You can perform operations here and, of course, make medicines without being disturbed by anyone. Live here, son. Live here and continue our work. This place is yours now. Here, you can do anything. Hmm, here you can do anything. That's exactly what he would have said. The Alambic works, Golden Hands. Now let's review what it's for. Remember Ulmars? Of course, it's a tincture made from herbs. Correct. Tinctures are the foundations of every treatment. The steppe has graced us with its wondrous herbs. Twire, the queen of plants. Swevery, ashen swish, white whip. Tell me, what's so good about them? They have astringent properties, I believe, and thus improve immunity. Um, they can uncover the symptoms of disease, correct. They reveal the symptoms of a disease and improve immunity. How would you make a tincture? With clear water, no ethanol, step herbs are too delicate. I need to combine any two different herbs. This way, a link will form. Different combinations of herbs will reveal different symptoms. However, all tinctures boost immunity. This effect comes from the soil, not from the herbs themselves. Unent, clear water and two different herbs. You can find both here. Look in the cabinet. Make a single ulmar for a start. All right. Interesting. So, we need to make a single tincture, which I think we can do. Mixture. So, select herb. Oh, is it not working? Oh. Oh, we need water. Okay. Do we have water? Ah, yes, there's water here. Excellent. Wonderful. There we go. Oh, this, is, this isn't real. This is like a dream. Okay. So we've got water. So we've got the black twire and the red. Let's brew it up and see what we get. Interesting. Interesting. Mmm. It's always worth trying different combinations of things, because you never know what you're going to get. Hmm. Ooh. There is a black tincture you can make that's the best of them all. That's really good. I'm just sort of randomly doing stuff here, by the way. I'm just sort of, like, com combining stuff and seeing what happens. There we go. So we've got our twire now. Oh, hello! This is weird. Hi! Big sister, our mom has some sort of wicked disease, doctor. Can you give my little sister something to keep her safe? She's a frail one. This September is truly foul. It is indeed. Okay. Prophylaxis. We're going to have to practice on her, aren't we? Shit. In danger. Recommendations. Administer an immunity booster. Um, Medrel tincture. Boosts immunity. Reveals disease symptoms when given to an infected person. Yaz tincture. Boosts immunity. Right, okay. And some of them are better than others. So, um... Okay. So let's give her that. Okay. You did all you could. Treatment assigned. Okay. Has it? Ooh, Tumblr human. Good. Now let's get down to curing people. What always comes first? We need to determine which layer hides the sickness. An examination. Correct again. But you are forgetting something. Pain. Pain is our great ally. It reminds us we're still alive. It drives us to action. However, when a patient is in unbearable pain, we cannot uncover which layer has come out of balance. Um, not to mention that using Ulmars hurts the patient as well. Don't get smart with me, boy. We'll get to Ulmars soon enough. It's almost like the spirit of your father is talking through this thing, you know? For now, get to work. Relieve his pain. I'm not being smart, just grumpy. You're better off without preparing Ulmars that relieve pain. That knowledge is taboo. Stick to morphine and you'll be fine. Any medicine is fine if it lets you avoid making cuts. Um, I'm not cutting anyone yet, am I? Oh dear. Alright. Fine. 
Okay. Unknown. Patient is in pain. Administer a painkiller. So, we've got morphine. So, let's administer that for a start. Um, now, what do we do? Okay. So, we've, we've done that. Administer the painkiller. Now, what do we do? Again? Oh, we've got to keep going. Okay. Okay, just to bring the pain and fever down. Okay. Okay, right. So now what do we do? Needs diagnostics. Okay. Is that it for now? It is time for the most important part. Do you remember what a meat is? I do. It is one of the three layers in a body. They are bones, nerves, and flesh. This has always struck me as strange. What about blood and internal organs? And why aren't bones the deepest layer? I told you time and again that triangular, triangular plots ruin imagination. I also told you that our ancestors perceived the world as a single whole and treasured its many links and connections. Respect the clarity of thought they possessed. What is the most important part in your knowledge of the layers? Any disease always hides within one of the three, at first at least. Knowing the exact nature of an illness is not necessary for healing. Affecting the correct layer, however, can bring a patient back to normal. How do the ulmars and different herbs correspond to these layers? Every combination of herbs is linked to a single layer. You can link them to colours for mnemonics. White, yellow, rusty. Okay. An ulmar can reveal symptoms of the layer of the same colour. Let's say you're making an ulmar from two herbs. How do you know which colour you will get? How am I supposed to remember all the properties? One of the herbs decides. You will learn the properties of herbs in due time. Only this way will you understand how things are connected. Grab more herbs and water. Prepare an ulmar for every colour. Go in blind for now and the herbs will reveal themselves to you. Try again and again. This is how you'll learn to link things together. I've already made them. An ulmar of every colour is linked to a, spe a specific layer. Tell me how. It can only reveal the symptoms on that layer correct. However, there is a catch. What do you think it is? A single symptom can be connected to several layers at once. Yes, your job is to eliminate all the wrong possibilities. Yet every single tincture I give the patient hurts them. That is so. You have to keep an eye out for pain levels. Oh, this is going to be so complicated. It is time to act, son. Uncover the symptoms. Determine which layer is out of balance. Do your best to use as few ulmars as possible. You have everything you need. I'll be observant. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Okay, so, the bones, the blood. Okay, so let's use a little of this. Ah, so there, that's where there's a disease, okay? And there. Now, what about the bones? We need the white for this. So that's where the infected layers are. So what do we do? Diagnosis definitive. Administer a correct antibiotic. I think that's it. Now you know which layer the illness is hiding on. It's time to administer antibiotics. Um, of which there are three kinds as well. A single one, right? Yes, you can only administer a single one. Antibiotics are harmful, as you know. You'll learn to make your own, but later. For now, you can use pills. There should be a stash around here somewhere. Choose the correct one. I know. Okay, right. So, do I have the... Yes, I do. So, um, the white is where... Uh, okay, so it's colour-based. So, the white it would be best, because that's where all the disease is, yeah? Treatment successful. There we go. I see how it works. It's actually, it's abstract, but it's much simpler than it looks. You concentrate on the colours. More than anything, you concentrate on colour. Okay, see, that wasn't so hard. Soon you will remember everything. You'll make a great healer. A healer I'll be proud of. It is hard, but I'm not afraid of hard work. Time to get to business. I'm so sorry you won't be around to see it, Father. Okay, interesting. Lots happening at once. Lots going on. Oh. Okay, this is strange. So, because we've taken on the requirements of our father, um, now 
we're gonna have to do that for a lot of people. We're gonna have to help a lot of people out. Um, oh, should I store some stuff? I suppose I should, really. Um, actually, no, 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 no. What I'll do... Can I talk to my little friend here? The kitten whose meat it has eaten. Okay. Hello, anyone in there? Can you hear me? For a moment, you just stood there, feeling bad, maybe? The air's thick here in September. Breathe in too deep and you'll pass out. I was just remain... Uh, <laughs> I'm fine, you little familiar, and healthy, and I don't pass out. Ooh. I was just remembering father. So, does it work now? The Alembic? It does. What about the big one? I'll fix it, too. Would you like me to look for scrap metal? What do you need to fix it? Cogs and stuff. I'll need a special toolkit for it. Oh, you can find toolkits in shops, but rarely. But it's doable. But I don't think anyone's selling one now. If I see one, I'll let you know. I haven't seen a single toolkit anywhere um, over these past few days. So if you find one, let me know. Brilliant. So we can't fix the big one, I don't think. We haven't got the stuff. No, not yet. The little one we can, though. And we can actually make stuff now. So that's cool. Excellent. That's very good. So if we mess about, we can... We can make different combinations of things. Very interesting. Okay. You very strange child. Actually, Sticky's really cool. He's very useful. Um, very useful indeed. Right, I'm going to give it a bit of a save, my loves. And then we're going to head out. Oh, God, hunger's creeping up again. I bet our exhaustion is as well. Any money. Ew. Bloody handprint. That's probably not a good sign, is it? Um, Alright, let's eat something then. I mean, that tinned food was amazing. I'm gonna- I'm gonna actually- I'm gonna put that away. Oh, fuck. Another hour gone. Shit. Um, I'm gonna put that here because that is gonna be really useful. I'm gonna put that here too. Um, the morphine I will keep for now. Um, I will keep that for now. Um, some of the tinctures, we don't really need to carry them around with us. Not necessarily, so some of those can go as well. Um, that I'll use to get rid of our hunger. Um, everything else is fine for now. Okay, cool. Okay, there we are. Right, let's... Oh, bloody hell. Time, time, time. It's the biggest... It's the... It's the... Uh, oh, hello. Bloody hell. God, you scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry about your loss still. Think bright thoughts. Earth takes her due but gives in kind. Have you now remembered me? Do you remember our connection? Ah, oh, it's you, Basagan. I'm all yours, Akirchen. What is your name? I've no need for such gifts. This is what you told me once. I often dream of salt, either its taste or colour or whole salt pits, or holding some in my pinched fingers. Do you believe me now? I never told anyone about it. Even my friends, even Lara doesn't know. Bachain, Bachain, forget Lara. That's not why I'm following you. Why then? Uh, whatever that says. But you're not heartless. However cruel, I won't leave you. I hold no grudge against you. Just mind this. When you finally remember, when you realize why you need me, do not hold a grudge either. Promise? I'm not the type to hold grudges. I'm not. Don't send me away. We are bound, you and I. I am yours. Remember that at least. Um. Okay. Right. Very strange, but fine. Oh, God, that milk stuff did hardly... Hello! Oh, it's my cow! Yay! Hello, Nukan. See, I brought your bull. Cleaned it up, too. We Katanga never swindle one another. Good job. Fabulous. Thank you. You're very lovely. Um, right. I'm gonna go see the kids if I can get there before the, the day ends. It's this way, isn't it? Yeah. If I can get there before the day ends, this is gonna be really good. It's gonna be really useful. Um, I hope I can. Bloody hell, I hope I can. Um, or before I keel over from exhaustion, which is also likely. The third day is going to be nasty. The third day, the disease is going to go nuts. It's going to become a, an epidemic very soon. Very soon. I want to talk to the kids anyway, because I want to... I think these kids tell you about the, um, the thing up there. The, um, uh, the polyhedron. I love how out of place the polyhedron is. It looks like it looks like it's from something different, doesn't it? 
Right, where are we? We're getting there. We're close. We're not quite there yet, though. We need to go this way. Come on, stamina. Get back up there. Ooh. Some weird noises out here. The station closed at the moment. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? I get the impression this station is closed often. I get the impression not many people come here. The soundscape in this game is amazing. I mean, the uh, the original one had a very good soundscape as well, but nothing like this. There's that hunger again. And exhaustion, creeping back up. The game hates you. Get, get over that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> um, it's designed to be evil, so just, just let it go. There's the kids. There's the kids, right. Let's go talk to them and see what they've got to say, shall we? God, it's creepy out here. Hello. Oh, we can talk to all of them. Wonderful. Kid, white, yellow, red, blue, green. What are you kids doing? Train summoning. Is it working? There's too few of us. Not enough power. Um, do you all call at once or take turns? Why do you ask, Uncle Hunchback? I'm not a hunchback. I'm fine. And you're so huge like a giant. I sure am. Eat healthy and you'll be just as big. Actually, you are really big. Maybe you can help. Do you know how to train someone? Depends on the train. Look, first you have to wish really, really hard for it to come. Can you do that? Definitely. Next, you have to give it a name. It needs to be an adjective. So what? It'll be adjacent. Okay. Got it. Inevitable. Black. Abrupt. Iron. Um, inevitable is good. Last, find the dead end of a railroad. The southernmost one that goes into the step and curves a bit. Stand there and think real hard about how it needs to come soon. And call it by the name held in your mind. Perhaps I'll try later. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. That's very peculiar. Hello, kids. Two weeks late already, and I'm waiting for a wonderful parcel. Candy? Nope, stamps, and my daddy's peaked cap from the war. A whole parcel full of stamps, you're very lucky, yeah, right? Kid, racing train, fast, faster, fastest train, speedy lightning quick, uh, immediate. Ugh, I guess I'm choosing wrong names. For the train, try swearing. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Um, so, where did he tell us to go? Um, oh god, we've done all this. So really... Has that quest ended now? Ah, oh, god, I think we missed that quest. Shit. Um, there's that. We can go to that. That's very weird. Oh, the kids nest in this house where strange things happen. I think I might go and have a look at that, actually, while I've got two minutes. I don't think many of our quests um, are active now, because we're too late. It's finished. Um... The contraption in the lair can be used to produce medicinal tinctures. Yeah, I know that. Father's contraption is out of order. Um, Rubin is an idiot. Yes, he is. Saba. Oh, yeah, I know that. I've done that. Um, there is a list of patients. Yeah, that's all fine. We've done a lot, actually. We've done rather well today. And a lot of these are ongoing. So, um, yeah, I think what we will do is go and have a look at this house, because it's weird. And then we'll, uh... We'll see if we can find somewhere to rest our head, actually, because we could do with a sleep. Could really do with a sleep. Um, hang on. Yeah, this house here. Hello, kiddies. What are you doing? The spleen! Nice. The rats and bugs and things, they escalate as the game goes on, just to indicate what's what's what, you know? Ugh, not nice. Oh, hello. Oh, it is a weird house. Actually, and the music's gone nuts as well. It's a very weird house. Let's have a look. Because why not, you know? Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Hi. Capella! Safe to touch. Smooth as bone. Leave it alone. You've interrupted a difficult conversation. I think you should leave. Uh, perhaps I can help. I understand there are things you want to know. You think we might tell you if you ask. Right, but we won't. Not now. You're an interloper. You are two serious girls. Who is this? Maria Kana out now. 
Who are you? This goddamn rain. Will it ever end? Ooh. Pouring and pouring. Okay, and one more pouring. word from you and everything will break. I told you to get lost. Are you stupid? Just wondering how you survived this long with manners like those. Ooh, that gave us a quest. That's interesting. God, this is all very interesting. It's not very nice, though. It's very creepy. And why is this set up like a throne, almost? How odd. So what's the quest associated with that? Is it here? Nope. Hmm. Maybe that's for another day. Maybe that's set up something for one of the other days. How? Hello? God sees us from beneath the earth. Why do you think he's in heaven? He's down below. Okay. So why did you interrupt our argument? What argument? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katarina replaced her. Then Victoria died, and Katarina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? I do. Nina and Victoria are dead. Katarina is incapable. So their daughters are coming into power. There have always been two mistresses. Now there are three of us. That's too many. Only one will remain. Main. Do you get just how important that is? And the lucky one will be you, of course, perhaps. Maybe I should go back to them and tell them of your good intentions. Um, good luck, then. Listen carefully, Burach. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely. Got it? Well, now I'll go back and talk to the girls just to spite you. I love meddling with the future. It's not your doing. I wasn't always able to speak to who I wanted to before, either. Interesting. So there's a choice there. We can go back and talk to the the women if we want to i don't i'm not sure i want to though i'm not sure i want to interfere here i'm gonna go take the boat and see if i can get here before the day ends that would be most useful if i can if i've got the time i probably don't but you know i mean today was definitely what the fuck what? Oh, it's the kids with the, the dog's heads. Oh, the kids are on the... Chara. Look alive, brothers and sisters. This one is in cahoots with Notkin's crew. So tell me, old man, which side are you really on? Um, I'm on my own. What do you even want, big man? If you come to drag us home, tough luck. We're going at home when we want, and not a minute earlier. As I see it, there's a fight brewing here. What's the problem, kids? That's our great conflict, old man. The soul and a halves see our tower as the root of all evils, and we can't live without it. The tower makes people into super people. The soul and a halves would rather become mindless pets. So if they want to be beasts, why are you the ones wearing the dog masks? For a good reason. These masks remind us we're still beasts, and the true humans inside us are yet to come out. They can't see well, are almost deaf, and speak only in gibberish. Lots of room left for growth, and what's with the four on one? First off, uh, it's four on one and a half. He does have half a soul more than ordinary folk. Second, we're not here to kick his ass. They're the ones be keen on bashing us with clubs and worse. Us, we're a peaceful bunch. We fight only in self-defense. Um, why do you drive him up there like a cat up a tree? We're teaching him discipline. He should get used to heights. Um... You don't mind if I go upstairs and talk to him, do you? Go ahead. Who's stopping you? See for yourself. The higher you go, the better it gets. I find the down below no less fascinating. Yeah, right. Have fun with all the stiffs and maggots around you. That's not all there is. Okay. Let's go talk to the kid up in the, the impossible tower, shall we? This is very interesting. And a little there. Look at the polyhedron becoming clearer the, the higher we get. The higher we get, the more abstract the game gets. It's so weird. Smokey, so what did they tell you? You kids play curious games these days. Our times were simpler. That you're in a team no heights. <laughs> It used to be peaceful. Each gang only mingled with their own, but recently it escalated into outright war. To be honest, we stuck, we struck first, but that's because they got under our skin. You be on your way, big man. Adults have no business with our wars. The kids in this game have their own politics, you know? I love the fact that the game doesn't portray 
like some hideous stereotypical childhood innocence or anything like that the kids are actually re it's it's more like lord of the flies you know the kids are actually really bloody vicious um you be on your way big man okay are you sure you don't need any help we'll manage on our own to be fair it's beautiful up here that's all right all will be quiet when we gather at the station this evening that's our no man's land a good place so you gather at the cargo station at the passenger one we used to gather at the cargo it was cooler but now it's all boarded off you'll only end up with broken legs and we've got girls and little kids there too so now we gather at the platform i'll drop by if that's fine with you stop prying grown-ups are not welcome where we gather you ruin everything Ooh. um fair enough Okay, interesting. There's nothing further up, is there? No, not at the minute. Okay. I mean, I've already been to see the kids at the station, so that's all right at the moment. Hey, up. Oh, what's going on? What have we got? A new location on the map. Perhaps. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Let's put a marker there, and maybe if we've got time, we might just be able to get there before the day ends. Maybe. If we've got time. Okay. Fuck. No. The day is over. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed. Others can still be seized. Several events will unfold this night and become unavailable by dawn. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theatre. Death toll over the past 24 hours. 13 people. Gone missing. 7. Wait, it isn't uniform. Yeah, you're not kidding. Right. Okay. I think these um, are still open. But a lot of the other opportunities are not. Yep, it's true. It's true. We're we passing a grocer's on the way. Uh, only children live in this house. Yeah, I know. It's um, creepy as fuck. The end is closer than you think. It's always closer than I think. It's terrifying. Okay. Hunger creeping up again. What have I got to eat? I don't think I've got much, actually. Nah, I haven't got much at all. Um, walnuts. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to use... Um, I definitely don't want to use those, because that would be bad. Um, so I can use some walnuts. That's not going to help a great deal. Look at that. It's hardly worth it, is it? Dear me. Oh, hello. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's the one we want. That's the one we want. So, oh, this, is, this we may not make it actually, but let's give it a go. God, hunger is just the worst, isn't it? Hunger and exhaustion, they're the ones that are going to get you in this game, I'm telling you. But at least we've got the night. At least there's that. And there's also the factory nearby, isn't there? Our factory where we can sleep, so we'll we'll do that. Um, just to stave off the hunger. That's the station. That's our, that's our place, the Soul and a Half Fortress. Uh, that's it, rather. The Harris Specs is lair. That's, ooh, they call it a lair. I like that. I'm into that. Definitely, it's a lair. Mm. I'd rather have a lair than a home, I've got to say. Hmm. And that term had a specs. Pfft, it's very nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, we need to be a bit more careful than that. Shit. Um, thirst just creeping up there. Bloody hell. Hunger going nuts. Hang on, have we got... We haven't got anything bigger, have we? To stave off the hunger. I don't think we do. Nope. Oh, shit. Is there a shop around here? Like a grocer's or something. The shady shop. Oh, we can go there. Let's go there and buy some food because we need it. We're going to die otherwise. Again. Yeah, let's go get some food. 
desperately need it. Hello, hello, hello. Hi! Oh, it's you again. You are so strange, sir. Um, 980. God, look how expensive food already is. Bloody Nora. Um, I'll have that. I'll have that. Thank you. Um, is there anything I can sell to you? Um, maybe the... Hmm. Scalpel. I don't want to sell that because scalpel is a useful tool. Um, the chalk you can have. You can have the chalk. Um... Fish barbs are going to be really useful, so I'm going to keep those. Soap's going to be useful too. I mean, everything's bloody useful. That's the problem, isn't it? I'll tell you what isn't going to be useful very soon. Money. Very, very soon, money is not going to be worth anything. So, don't worry about losing money. <laughs> Take it. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm going to start eating. I'm going to eat something now. Um... If I remember correctly, this did bloody nothing last time. It did hardly a damn thing, but... You know? There we go. That's a little better. That gives us a little bit of... Uh... Oh! Yes. That does give us just a little bit of leeway. That's good. Right. So we're heading this way. Oof. I mean, the, you've also got the night as well. The night is a good time to just sort of wander and get stuff done. The problem is, if you wait until night, then things... A lot of quests uh, end, and you can't do them anymore, which is really frustrating. Let's go see a spitty and the... Uh, there's our bull. I don't know what the significance of that's going to be. I can't quite remember. I do remember that it is significant, though. There's something about the bull. Right, okay. So the, the step people gather here, in the crude sprawl. I am in the right area, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oops, stamina's going nuts. That's good. Ooh. There's twire around here somewhere. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Always keep your ears out for the twire. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. So let's uh, let's have a look and see what the step people have got to say. Hopefully they're not annoyed with me over something. They probably are, though. I have been shirking my duties in that regard, to a certain degree. Hello! Oh, it's you again! But you follow me everywhere, don't you? Ketty. Saba will teach us. She knows the way. She speaks to Earth. Mother Bodo talks to us through her. Um, what will she teach you? She knows our traditions. We have long been oppressed. Now we face extinction. We forget our language, our crafts and arts. The art of talking to Earth. The language of herbs. The craft of lines. She advises us. What advising do you need? Not a simple one. That wasn't an offer, by the way. I'm a bad advisor. Yeah, right? Oh, hello. Oh, you're an interesting one. Katanga, I want to ask Saba, will our brothers and sisters be allowed to marry? The kin are, well, kin. We're all children of Bodo, and there's so few of us left. Marry the townsfolk, that's the only way to survive. We're too different. That's the idea. But that doesn't matter. When the kin swallow the town, there'll be neither wives nor children. And you'll become the kin's last generation. Ooh, that's interesting. Kin, I would ask Mother about self-sacrifice. She said we must sacrifice everything for our fellow kin as we, pe we prepare to flood the town. I gave everything I had, even my own entrails. Now I'm dying. Did I make the correct decision? What for? I will tell it to Saba. It's a long story. I should save my strength. You did good. Okay, interesting. Interesting stuff. Ooh. Hi. Hello! You're another kin person, aren't you? Why are they all gathering here? Ooh. What's all this about?
No, I want my lantern, actually, because I can't see what's going on. There we are. Oh, fuck. There's another hour. Bloody Nora. Hi. Oh, dear. What's... Oh, it's one of the, um... One of the interesting players. Saba Oten's reflection. She drinks a lot of milk. She who reflection, your master? No one knows how she became herself. Suspicion and fear surround a tale of one who left the steppe. She's said to be inhuman, a doll of clay and bone. Shabnak Adi Gier. There is blood in her veins. The same can be said of Earth, so what? Those are mere legends. My master waits for her, her assigned time. Five years ago, during the first outbreak, Earth cast her with a secret task that must have been fulfilled back then. Are you saying that the first outbreak was curbed by your father? However, with vicious force, he changed the flow of history. And Saba Upste, Saba Utun, the one called Spitty by common folk, stayed behind within this world. A groomless br uh, bride, a blemish, lost, estranged from her true goals, believes she owes her life to Isidore, who made her, who foresaw her. What do you mean, made her? I like her. She is an ab, ab guy, a sister to me. I feel her care. She feigns humanity quite well and holds respect and power in the kin. She rules over this hiding place where step folk can find escape from being yoked within Olgimsky's cruel mill. Here they can hide and heal and run their midnight markets. Are there many such step people? Enough. Enough to flood the town. There will be blood. Yeah. Your father, whom she worships without understanding, met the kin to merge into the town to make a body whole, but we cannot and will not. So she decided to adjust the town to the needs of the kin. She brokers work for brides and odongs, setting them up as dancers or couriers. One wonders why. You're trying to take over the town, you madmen. She doesn't know what she's doing. Indeed, she is not human after all. But love does drive her like it drives you, and love is blind and foolish. Not human, right? I'll try no, to accept that. The kin will tell him nothing. Okay. We're wary of outsiders. Okay. That's very strange. Hmm. The wretched creature is strong. Earth warm your roots, M. Shen. Who are all these people, Saba? What do they want? They respect me, you see. I know not the lines, but I sense earth. I speak to them on her behalf. They believe I am made of soil, like Shabnak Adi, though they don't call me that. They ask strange questions, Saba. Why do they come to you? I teach the truth of the kin to these people. I retell our old legends. I remind them of Bodo's will, of how the world is a body. I hear the earth and speak her will for them. I make sure they know where they come from and where they are going. A sick people, a weak people needs this. Our future hangs by a thread. I've talked to them. I suppose I, I did your work for you. Why were you asking me then and not you? I knew what would happen. You have done well following the lines. You think so? My answers were not the same you would have given them. They believe they come here for advice, faults. They have long since made up their minds. Now only their weakness sows doubt in them. We take on the burden of that doubt. Whatever we tell them, they'll do what they think is right. Yeah, I used to flip coins. I always knew what to do before the coin even fell, no matter which side was up. Okay, that was weird. Very, very weird indeed. Didn't there used to be a... Um Oh, I was going to say, I can talk to people. Katanga, we went to the Warren. We stood by its walls. We hoped to be let in the Ark. The pest is spreading across the town. We wanted to hide. If we can't get to Mother Taya, we can at least find refuge at Saba. She is also like a mother to us. She will teach us how to protect ourselves. Uh, children of many mothers, aren't you? Even Mother Bodo caresses your steps still. Okay, interesting. Nope, can't talk to her. Can't sleep, can I? Not here. No. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. That's good to know. Um, is there still a clock here that I can save by? Um, there was last time. I don't think there is this time. Oh, yes, there is. Wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do, my loves, I'm going to sleep for... Let's see. Um, it's 1.16. I'm going to sleep for three hours. I'm going to get that exhaustion right down. There we are. And my hunger has gone right up. That's good to know. Ah, uh, 
bollocks. And as a result of our hunger, our health is draining slowly. Wonderful. Um, what have I got to eat? Hardly anything, to be honest. I've got an apple core. Um, and I've got some peanuts. And I've got some cashk, which is actually pretty damn good. Um, okay, my dears. Let's go and save it. So, my dears, I think we will leave it there. When we come back, I think it might be time to try day three. Until then, my dears, bye-bye!